Hey guys, it's Liz and we're flipping things. And today I am going over my top 10 sales from 2021. I am not one of those, I buy something for a dollar and I sell it for 300. So if that's what you're looking for, this probably isn't the video for you, but I am realistic in, I had some good flips. I'm always happy about a good flip and I am gonna share them with you. There's nothing insane coming. I am not even going to give you the clickbait and, oh, stay tuned. No, the truth is this is real. These were my best sales. I'm super proud of them. Stay tuned. Welcome back. I hope everyone is doing well. It was an interesting year on eBay for me. The first six months I was furloughed from work still. So I was putting a hundred percent of my time into selling on eBay and Amazon FBA. I went back to work full time halfway through the year and eBay has become more of a side hustle. It brings in some extra money for me, which is super helpful as my husband and I are currently starting a hydroponic greenhouse business and a lot of money and time goes into that with no income coming in yet. It will happen. So let's get into my top 10 flips on eBay for 2021. Um, coming in at number 10 is this vintage yellow champion hoodie. Now, some of these are from so early in the year, I can't find the screenshots for the sales anymore. My apologies, <laughs> but this was a vintage yellow champion hoodie. I got this in a Goodwill blue box. I love the Goodwill blue boxes. I know I just love them. I haven't gotten one like in a while. I paid $2.70 for this. It sold for $41.99. My fees were $6.74, making my profit on this item $32.55. This took 19 days to sell. So it was a quick flip, which is 100% my favorite. <laughs> I love to sell things quickly. So I was actually really happy with this one. My son wanted to keep it, but it didn't quite fit him. It was a little too small. And great profit, right? I mean, I had it for 19 days. I made, paid $270 for it and I made $31. Awesome. Coming in at number nine, this is a set of Logitech gaming headphones. These I got in a bargain bin supply electronics box and I paid $5 for each item in that box. These sold for $49.99 in 16 days. So they sold very quickly. You can see the box was ripped, like the packaging wasn't good, but the headphones were brand new and unused. The fees on this were $7.69 and my profit on this item was $37.30. I, I was really happy with that. Um, this was very early in the year. So, I mean, I had this for two weeks and flipped it quickly for a good profit. I was happy. Coming in at number eight is this Xbox 360. This I picked up from my friend Eric. He had a garage sale and he called me at the end of it and was like, I have so much stuff, come get it. So I just gave him some money and he, I mean, I went home with like a car full of stuff from his garage sale. Thank you, Eric. Thank you. Eric still works with me at my current company, so I still get to see Eric all the time, which is super awesome. This I paid $10 for. I sort of averaged out how much money I gave him versus how many items I took home, but I like went up a little bit. So I paid $10 for this Xbox 360. It sold for $64. The fees were $10.81, making my profit $43.19. This took 106 days to sell, but that is because I actually sold this twice. So I sold it immediately <laughs> after I listed it. It went to the buyer, um, they cleaned it up and found that it didn't fit in their space. So I offer returns. <laughs> they asked if they could return it. They did return it. I relisted it and it sold again. So I sold this twice. And actually the second time I got more money than I did the first time, which was like awesome, right? <laughs> so I made $43.19 on this one item and I sold it twice. <laughs> so <laughs> what are you going to do? Uh, coming in at number seven, this is a, was a Bose sound deck. I can't find the screenshots for selling it. A friend of mine reached out to me and she was like, I have all this stuff I'm donating to Goodwill. Do you want it? So I showed up at her house and I threw everything she had in my trunk. One of the things she had was this Bose 
sound deck. It had all the pieces, it had all the connecting cords, but I paid zero for this. It sold for $50. The fees came in at $265. I have gone back and tried to figure out why the fees were so low on this item. For the life of me, I don't know, but that is what eBay has listed, $2.65. No complaints. I'm not complaining, but it was unusual. Like that's way too low. So basically the fees were $265 and my profit on this Bose sound deck was $47.35. This one took 157 days to sell, so not as fast, but still a great profit for something that I didn't pay for. I cannot complain. Coming in at number six, this is a Paw Patrol Sub Patroller. We actually accidentally purchased two of these for my son Trevor when we were in like shopping for Christmas mode 2020. So my husband and I actually bought two of these he obviously only needed one. And so at some point last year, I decided to go ahead and list this on eBay. So I paid, listen, I paid for it. We bought it. I don't know how much we paid for it. Um, Cause it was just, no, you know what? It was 2019. It was Christmas 2019 because 2020 Trevor was not into Paw Patrol anymore, which is sort of depressing. I hate when they like grow up and grow out of things. So it had been in the basement for a year. I have this listed as I paid zero. Obviously at some point in 2019, I paid money for this, but I just listed it as zero because I pulled it out of my basement where it was sitting in storage and I listed it on eBay. It sold for $56.99 and sold in nine days. The fees were $8.51. So my profit on this was $48.48. .48. Now, if you really take out what I paid for it, which was probably more than $30, not as profitable an item, but you know, it was like a sunk cost, right? It was a year or two old. And I actually think they weren't, you couldn't buy this online at the time, which is why I think I got so much money for it. Up next, this is number five. Number five, this is a Michael Kors watch. I picked this up in a Catch and Deals mystery box. And I actually waited to list it for a long time because I was like, do I need to like authenticate this? I have no idea. I had never dealt with like a Michael Kors watch before. It was a nice looking watch. So everything in that box averaged out to $10 each. So I paid $10 for this. I listed it and sold it. I listed it for 75. I got an offer for 71, which I took. So I sold it for $71. The fees were 10.68 making my profit on this item $50.32 and it sold in eight days. I actually remember when it sold being kind of mad at myself that I waited as long as I did to list it. I was so worried about the authenticity on this one. I don't know. I don't know. I think it was actually TJ mentioned on Pallet Jackin's channel that he had sold a couple of them. And that was when I was like, oh my God, just list it. Like stop stressing about whether it's real. It looks real. I don't know. I mean, anyways. It sold, I made $50.32 in eight days after listing. So that was an awesome flip, I was super happy about it. Number four, this one was so crazy to me. This is another from a Catch and Deals box. This was an HBA box. This is OcuGlow, like canine vision supplement. So it's like basically medicine for dogs, which when I opened it in the box, I'm like, what? <laughs> I thought this was like health and beauty for humans. So I was thrown off, but I paid $1.50 for this. It sold for $65, which was a total shock to me. I never thought it was gonna sell at that price. It sold for $65. The fees were $10.46, making my profit $53.04. This one took 28 days to sell, so it took a month, but a pretty awesome profit at $53.04 for something I paid $1.50 for. I was like super happy with this. I know, I've said it a million times, I love the Catch and Deals HBA boxes. I know we don't, we're not supposed to like catch and deals because they're always changing how they run their business. They're not the best to work with, but man, <laughs> when I look back at 2021, I definitely made the most profit off of stuff I purchased from catch and deals. That's just the truth of it. What came in at number three? My number three top flip was a Google Nest home Wi-Fi system. I got this in a bargain bin supply mystery box. It was an electronics box. This I paid $6 for. It sold for 
The fees were $8.47, making my profit $65.52, and it took 28 days to sell. I was really excited about this. I almost kept it for myself, and at the last minute didn't, and I still have a little bit of regret because I think I'm actually going to need to buy one. <laughs> then I'm going to be super annoyed when I have to buy one that I sold and I had for $6. Water under the bridge, you guys. Water under the bridge. We're not going to worry about it. I made $65.52 on this. Awesome flip. I have not heard anything about bargain bin supply lately. Are they even still a thing? I need to check because I actually don't know. All right. Coming in at number two, this is a Jero. It's a supplement. I've heard that uh, it's an alternative treatment for COVID. That's what I've heard since I sold this. I did not know that when I sold this. This was in a Catch and Deals HBA box. I paid $1.79 for this. It sold for $79.99 in one day. Probably could have gotten more money. That's the truth. Probably could have gotten more money. It sold for $79.99. The fees were $9.66, making my profit $68.54. Awesome. Could have been more, I think. In hindsight, could have gotten more. Still a super awesome flip. And then my top flip. This one is actually not an eBay sale, but I thought it was going to be one of my like biggest disasters of 2021. And it wound up actually being my best <laughs> flip. Let me show you these backpacks. Okay. There is pink and there is blue. I have a liquidation warehouse place near me in Buffalo that does um, auctions online. And I won an auction with 62 of these brand new with tags backpacks that also had little lunch boxes inside. This was March. So I bought 62 of them for $62, meaning I bought them for $1 a piece. I didn't think it through because when I went to pick them up, it took my husband's entire van. It filled his whole van. I put them in the basement. It was taking up like, I can't tell you how much space these things were taking up. And I was like, oh my God, I've made a mistake. I've made a mistake. First off, it's March. No one's buying backpacks until September. I do not have room to store these for six months. I was completely panicked. So I paid $62 for these in May. Um, and it actually happened on the Pallet Jack and Facebook group. If you guys are not in that, you should be. There's so much great information shared there. It's a very positive group. I love it. Anyhow, someone on there posted that they were trying to organize a backpack drive for their local community, which was down south, if I remember correctly. And they were looking for backpacks at an affordable price. And so I was like, I got backpacks. Me? I me? Mean, I have backpacks. So um, I basically went back and forth with the woman that was trying to organize this. They had a budget. And I, we settled on 62 backpacks for $310. Basically, I said I would sell them for $5 per backpack. Now, I was hoping if I sold them individually to make quite a bit more. But honestly, from March until May, I hadn't moved one. And there was no views. Like, they just were not going to move. It would have taken me years to sell 62 of those individually. So I sold them for $5 a piece. And I shipped all 62 off to her. So it was $310. I paid 62. I sold them for 310. There were no fees because this wasn't through eBay. This was just a transaction that we did making my profit $248 on these backpacks. It wound up taking 68 days to sell these, but I was really happy with it. One, I got them out of my storage. Two, I didn't have to wait several years to sell these all individually. Um, and so, yes, I made a profit of $248 on this one purchase of 62 backpacks, which I was actually thrilled with. That was money I could reinvest right back into my business, which I was happy about. Plus it opened up a whole lot of storage, which I needed. So that was my top flip. I don't know. Tell me, like, share in the comments, what was your top flip of the year? Cause I love watching these like, like really awesome bolos where someone finds the most fantastic item for like a dollar and sells it for 300. That doesn't actually happen to me. I, I know it happens to people. I see it like on Facebook. It doesn't happen to me. So share in the comments what your best flip of the 
the year was. I would love to hear. Please tell me. And then I think tomorrow I'm going to share my top five or 10 worst purchases for 2021. Because guess what? There's a lot of those too. The truth is I had some awesome stuff and then I had some big mistakes. You know, I'm always real with you guys, right? I'm going to share like, here's, look at all my awesome stuff I did. And then I'm going to share like, whoa, <laughs> bad buys, <laughs> big mistakes. So those are coming tomorrow. Stay tuned for that. And I hope everyone is doing awesome. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Oh, if you haven't liked and subscribed and you'd like to, please do. Do you like my shirt? It's available. It's in the description bar. You can check it out. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.